So my name is Michelle Reed and I am currently in college and so today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday college makeup routine for 2018. This look is actually based off of this Instagram photo that I posted because a lot of you guys said you wanted to see this makeup. A few disclaimers before I start, I am wearing a jumpsuit in this video. I know it looks like I'm not but I promise I'm wearing clothes, it's just really comfy. Also I do like to wear makeup to college so if you don't that's totally cool but I know there are a lot of girls out there who are like me, who like getting done up for class. I think that's totally cool. So also in this video, I used the new Beauty Blender Blue Cool Beauty Blender. And I actually have two of these, so I'm gonna be giving one away in this video. This isn't sponsored. I just thought I would like give this to you guys because I'm sure someone would use this because these things are way too expensive. All you have to do to enter is make sure to follow me on Instagram, which is at Michelle Reed, and subscribe to this channel. And then whatever you comment down below, just say what grade you're in. So if you're in college, what grade are you in? If you're in high school, also leave your Instagram at name so I can contact you because because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to actually like figure out what your address is. That's everything that I have to say. So let's just go ahead and get right into this makeup routine because I haven't done one in a little bit. So starting out, I always use this, but this is the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is the hydrating one because I have super dry skin. And obviously, as you can tell, I wanted to like do this when my skin was like at its worst. And I have this huge pimple on my cheek. And I just think that's reality in college. Sometimes I watch these videos and it's like these people with absolutely perfect skin, but I definitely have like the worst skin whenever I'm in college. I also have awful under eye circles today and that's because sleep has been something that hasn't really been happening, so. Also, I feel like I might get questions about my hair in this video. All I did was sleep in two French braids and then I undid it and this is the hair that I get. So foundation, I use the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced. I love this foundation. I think it's such a good foundation. It doesn't really look cakey. It just works really well with my skin. I know not everyone wears foundation to college and if you don't like that's totally cool. I just personally like wearing foundation. I think it really evens out my skin tone and so I feel like if something makes you feel more confident then why not do it. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram I have been posting a lot of outfit pictures lately. I've really been trying to do more like fashion-y kind of Instagram posts like showing outfits and stuff. I've just been really into fashion lately and like wearing different things and so if you want to follow me it's Michelle Reed. I've also been listing a lot of items on the Dope app which is basically an online shopping mall. This isn't sponsored. I just want to let you guys know I get a lot of questions of where things that I'm wearing are from and they're always on Dope so you should definitely follow me on there and if you buy something you can get five dollars off and free shipping with the code Michelle. So just using a beauty blender as well. I'm a blender kind of girl. I don't really like using brushes because I find they look kind of cakey. If the lighting gets funky, it's just because it's about to storm, so. Now for concealer, I am using, this is the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline. So obviously, we got a lot to conceal. So I usually start with just under my eyes, my spot. So kind of a college update. I graduate in a year and a half, so it's coming up soon. If you guys are just tuning in, I go to the King's College in New York City. It's a really small Christian school. I'm a business major, so I don't have like a specific focus. I just like am a general business degree. For like life plans, I'm gonna be honest guys, I don't really know what I'm doing. I know I still have time, so it's not like a huge worry, but I'm debating between like, should I stay in New York for the summer? Should I go home? Should I intern this year? Should I not? The thing about New York is a lot of the internships here are unpaid, which is just really hard. If you're like staying here over the summer, paying rent for the summer and you're doing an unpaid internship and then doing another job too, it's just really hard. And the internships here are a lot of time. So I'm kind of like in this process where I'm like weighing the pros and cons, like should I invest all my time in my YouTube channel to possibly like do something bigger with this or should I dedicate more time to like getting a job outside of YouTube? It's just a really hard balance to find I figure out. So to set my makeup, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder as well. I never saw myself as someone who would be doing like YouTube full time and like just being a YouTuber because that always seemed very fleeting. But it's just like, while in college, it's the thing that makes me the happiest and I find the most joy from doing it, mainly because I feel like I've gotten to like make a message that's bigger than myself. And so, I don't know, it's just been hard to like figure out should I be investing my time elsewhere or investing my time other areas. I've been vlogging so much on my second channel. I just feel like I'm kicking it with the vlog viewers. Like you guys are just so good. If you want to tune in, enjoy my little fam. I honestly love my vlog channel so much. It's Michelle out of her shell. For living for next year, I kind of have to start figuring that out as well. So it'll be my last year in school. 
and I'm pretty sure I'm living with my friend Rose and her roommate Rhea next year and I'm gonna be moving off campus so finding our own place which would be so cool I'd probably be sharing a room with Rose which you really get used to sharing a room in college like it's not really a big deal we don't know where we're gonna live I feel like in New York finding an apartment is kind of just whatever you land on and that's kind of like how you do it then to set the rest of my face I use the Laura Mercier candle glow perfecting powder which is like a shimmery powder and since my skin is so dry I don't like to set all of my face and I like to use a blender because it just keeps it nice and moisturized not super cakey or anything kind of just gives you a nice like subtle glow all over your face so after that for bronzer i'm just using my tarte park ave princess bronzer i love this bronzer i just think that it is a really nice like simple kind of bronzer i'm gonna be honest guys i've been really cakey with the contour lately it has not been looking that good so <laughs> no judgment I just feel like you get to the age of like I'm turning 20 this year and you feel like you have to have everything in your life figured out and I'm just like getting to the point where I'm like no Michelle you don't so now for blush I'm using the butter blush from Physicians Formula this is in the shade Vintage Rouge and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this all over my cheeks I kind of go above the apples on my cheeks it just got so dark I'm also kind of ready to have an apartment that's not a studio apartment just because with living in a studio apartment there's like no sense of privacy you have to wake up at the same time as the other person because you're in literally a shoebox this place is tiny i love this apartment it's so cute and i'm so thankful for it but i think having a one bedroom apartment is going to be like such an upgrade so for highlight i'm just using this laura mercier highlight in the shade indiscretion or indiscretion pimple doesn't even cover. I keep my brows really simple. All I've really been using lately is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette and I just take the shade Cashmere Bunny and I apply this in my brows. I then just take my Benefit Gimme Brow which is like a little bit of a shade to it and you just put it through your brows. Obviously I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just a college girl. This is what I do. For eyeshadow I use Meat Matte Tremoni Palette which is basically just a palette of all matte shades i'm specifically going to be using these two kind of like orangey shades i'm just going to apply these to my lid and then also to my crease the winter time is just kind of nice to give your eyes like a little bit more of a warm tone to them so then after that i kind of like to mix this red shade and then also this brown shade and i just put them together and put them on kind of like the outer quarter slash a little bit in the crease some days in college I will skip eyeliner, some days I'll do it, it just kind of depends, but I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply the Scandalize Retro Glam from Rimmel Mascara. I'm so excited because this weekend I'm actually going skiing for the first time. I'm going with this company called Skidaddle. I'm filming a weekend in my life video. It's like my first trip for like a YouTube related thing, which I'm really excited for because I've never actually done. That's been like a goal of mine, but I just have a feeling I'm gonna be so bad at skiing. Just because I didn't grow up doing it, I feel like I'm way not coordinated enough. Even though I dance, I still feel like it's a little bit different. I'm obviously gonna be staying on like the bunny slopes, but I would still appreciate it. For lips, I feel like this kind of makes everything come together, but I'm using the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in the shade Cool. It's a coral color. This lipstick is so good. Not specifically just this one, but this brand, they stay on all day. They don't dry out your lips. They're awesome. They're basically the only ones I use and I would highly recommend them. And there you have the very pretty orange kind of coral lip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you guys. I really hope you guys stick around. Also make sure to subscribe to my blog channel. I have been vlogging so much in 2018 and it's definitely been my resolution. So go check it out. It is Michelle and Rochelle. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye friends.